I haven't had... Okay, so this is the thing on how long you have to wait after you give something to God for it to, see, to see results, is that right? Mm. Yeah, I haven't actually heard that one, but I do know that when I, uh, when I was introduced to my t one of my teachers, Dr. David R. Hawkins, um, he said that uh, when he was releasing illnesses by using the Course in Miracles, partly using the Course in Miracles, along the lines of Lesson 14, God did not... For example, he, I think he did have a form of cancer, and also when he had various other illnesses and infections. Um, and he used like, uh, he taught the term, I cancel my belief in, for example, cancer, I'm an infinite being, or God did not create cancer, so it's not real. He, um, and what I got from him was that you just do that every day uh, until, until it releases. And his, his experience was um, some of the small things released quite quickly. But some of the major illnesses, like, uh, uh, took, uh, I think, three to five years of just constantly, every day, because if it was like something that had manifested and it was nearly killing you, it wasn't going to go away in three days, because it was such a heavy... Because every time you say it, that belief, because the belief is manifesting. So if you believe, if you pick up the belief in cancer and you've got cancer, for it to suddenly disappear, you have to let the belief go and then it has to release. On, on the inside, so it was, it was taking a f uh, for some things some years, for some smaller things which weren't so easy. I think things like uh, hyperglycemia was much quicker to release. So my own experience in just <coughs> I used to do things like I cancel my belief, <coughs> I cancel my belief in kidney failure. I'm an infinite being, subject only to what I hold in mind. That took about five years before a transplant came in. Uh, gout and asthma. Uh, you know, I cancel my belief in gout, I'm, uh, I'm an infinite being, I cancel my belief in asthma, I'm an infinite being. I was doing that every day and that took three years uh, to clear those two illnesses. But I think, you know, with things which are much more subtle, they, they might go very, very quickly. But it, it depends you know, on how strong, strongly that belief is held. Like if I've got a very strong belief and I just say, God did not create it only once, for it suddenly to be released in three days, I think it just depends on the severity and how, and also the level of advancement of the student, and how how regularly they're 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 working on releasing that, basically that identification to that belief. You're just loosening the glue. When you believe something very very strongly, you have to do a lot of spiritual work to release it, and then for it to manifest, then to see that it's gone uh, from from your life. Um, Anyway, that was just my experience of how long it takes for certain things to, to, to release.